Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jivin Tamang and in this video guys, we're going to be checking out another SDG video, okay? We are done with Miss Grand International. We're going to be moving for Miss International, Miss Earth and Miss Universe that is going to happen very soon. So in this video, we're going to be checking out uh, uh, India's and uh, Vietnam's uh, SDGs, beauties for SDGs. So without any delay guys, let's just get into this reaction. Education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. These words by Nelson Mandela were often shared with me by my grandfather, Advocate Rao Saheb Shinde. He was a freedom fighter, a social Where did she come from? Like, did she come from Femina Miss India or... I don't think there's a separate pageant for Miss uh, International. I think it's from Miss India, right? Femina Miss India, which has not even telecasted as of now. An educationist. He instilled a strong sense of responsibility towards the society in our family. And following his vision, my mother and but I... I don't think I saw her face in Femina Miss India NGO, because I did some Femina reaction videos. Foundation, in July 2018, of which I am the General Secretary. Coming from a small town in rural India, I saw firsthand the difficulties girls faced in their conquest for education. With only 40% of girls in rural areas being able to complete their secondary education, I witnessed the barriers of gender discrimination, lack of resources, and the most heartbreaking of all, girls not feeling entitled for something as basic as school education. These challenges weren't just distant issues. They were a part of everyday lives of the girls I knew. And they fueled my determination to drive a meaningful change. To try and mitigate difficulties faced by these girls, I started a project called Jeevan Kurti. That's my name, Jeevan. Through this project, Every year, we adopt 10 girls from underprivileged socio-economic strata and sponsor their complete school education from a well-established English medium school. Today, we support over 60 girls wow. who not only excel academically, but also thrive in sports, performing arts, and various extracurricular activities. Watching their ambitions soar, affirms our commitment to the sustainable development goals number four and five of quality education and gender equality. I recently visited the homes of two of our girls, Pranjal and Pradnya, from our foundation. The joy on their parents' faces when they saw me was truly touching. They expressed immense gratitude towards the NGO. At Prerna Foundation, a major part of our mission is empowering so girls divine with miss. the knowledge so I think it's about probably from Miss Divine or something and adolescent health. Through various workshops and sessions, we provide crucial health information, dispelling myths around menstruation, and helping girls better understand their well-being. Additionally, through our NGO, we actively engage with orphanage centers. During our visits, we distribute sweets and warm clothes to the children. However, this time, we were able to go a step further and adopt three girls from one of the orphanages and sponsor their education. This was possible due to a combination of increased resources and targeted support from the NGO. Connecting with the households of migrant workers is a key part of our outreach efforts at the foundation. In line with our mission to support oh, wow, underprivileged is... communities, we distribute basic essentials to these families. Our NGO's mission extends beyond education through several initiatives such as distributing essential supplies to field workers, providing warm clothes to the resident of old age homes, and supporting I love she was dressed up like a literal politician for that. Our NGO aims to uplift vulnerable communities. The Prerna Foundation is not just about giving. It's about nurturing dreams, fostering hope, and most importantly, 
It's about cheering all women. I have to say, you know, it was very result oriented, and I love that. I love that. Let's go to Vietnam. Thun Thi Tan Thuy. Fresh water is an inval invaluable resource and a vital cornerstone for driving the sustainable development of community economies and societies. Oh, this is very green, right? Are they really going to change the quality of the water? Uh, that's 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 that would be impressive if she does that. Is she able to do that? Quinty Thanh Thủy, Miss International Vietnam 2024. As a citizen of my country, I have contemplated and deeply understood the difficulties that people have to face every day. I realize that. Agriculture, water resources, and people's daily lives are being put in an alarming situation due to drought, salt water intrusion, and constant pollution. Wow, there's so many trees, by the way, right? Like in the middle, e even in the middle of the house. Understanding houses and all. the difficulties of people in the river area has motivated me to initiate the project Water Revival. A drop of clean water brings new life to our lives. In cooperation with the Collagen New Cost Brain, the project not only conveys positive values by providing clean and safe water, but also spreads and brings practical values to improve the quality of life of the community. This is not only a personal matter, but also a mission to integrate into SDG number six adopted by the United Nations General Assembly, ensure access to water and sanitation for all. We are particularly interested in comprehensive health care for the people. In addition to installing free water purifiers, I also work closely with Tongyuk Pharmacy to organize a general examination program to screen for pathogen in the body and provide necessity for people in difficult circumstances. After surveying the actual situation, my team and I directly installed water purifiers at a kindergarten in Thanh Phong Town, Thanh Phu District. I understand that the consequences oh, the of water salt is... water intrusion do not stop at the lack of clean water for daily life, but also spread, causing serious damage to agriculture and affecting the income and livelihood of rural people. The imbalance of nutrients in soils, polluted water sources, and lack of fish food are all problems that make life more difficult than ever. Trước đây nguồn nước của người dân địa phương sử dụng thì thường là không có qua lắng lọc à, Chủ yếu là sử dụng nước mưa trực tiếp hoặc là lấy từ các cái nguồn nước ngầm để sử dụng à, Hiện nay thì có nhờ khoa hậu thanh thủy đến và hỗ trợ dàn máy lọc nước thì à, trẻ ở đây sẽ được à, uống à, nước sạch và đảm bảo an toàn cho sức khỏe à, Cái máy nước lọc này à, có cái nguồn nước à, sạch sẽ cho an toàn của à, chúng tôi Cho con à, em rồi nó có nước sạch để dùng Water revival, every drop of water, every water source is not only a source of life, but also a resource for the beautiful development. Like tasting water like it's some tea. <laughs> so cute though. But I love how very, you know, like, oh wow, that's, that's beautiful. I always believe that there is no distance or boundary between Vietnamese people. We always strive for a society where love is not only given but also multiply creating a community full of love and sharing.
That was beautiful. And I guess the best part about Vietnam's uh, SDGs, beauty for SDG, is that it was very particular, right? Like, you know, education, this, that. We've seen it a lot of times. But, you know, this is something that I felt like, okay, wow, this is, uh, this is very interesting and something that I've not really seen much before. So, I really liked it. And that'll be for this video, guys. Let me know what you feel about this and I'll meet you guys in the next reaction video. Bye-bye.